When the Emperor planned the Republic's destruction, he did not foresee the need for alliances. The Sith would sweep through the galaxy, systematically exterminating their age-old Jedi enemies and dismantling the proud Republic. But the Emperor's vision was cynical. He did not count on the brave sacrifices the Republic's heroes were willing to make. After the Sith offensive seized the Siswina sector of the Outer Rim, the Imperial Armada turned its sights closer to the core, the Mid-Rim. Believing the Republic was still recovering from its heavy losses, Imperial forces charged into Bothan space, where they were caught off guard by the full force of the Republic fleet. The Republic fleet obliterated the Imperial squadron, and the Battle of Bathawui became the Republic's first major victory in the war. The news spread across the galaxy, rekindling lost hopes and re-energizing exhausted defenders. The Republic fleet moved on, but a courageous force of Jedi and Republic soldiers remained on Bathawui to await the Empire's return. The vengeance of the Sith came swiftly. Imperial battle cruisers from around the galaxy closed in on Bothan space to recoup their losses. A high-powered planetary shield protected Bathawui from bombardment, forcing the Imperial forces to engage on the ground. Jedi Master Belthalusis, seven dozen of the Order's finest knights, and 4,000 Republic soldiers dug in to defend the shield generators, or die trying. The disparity was staggering. An unprecedented Imperial army, 50,000 strong, descended on Mothawui's brave defenders. The defenders were undaunted, with no expectation of survival. They were mindful only of their duty. But overconfident Imperial commanders threw all their armies' might into direct assault and their ground forces fell in droves. For every Republic soldier who died, 10 Imperials were killed. The Empire was forced to call in reinforcements. Despite the defenders' determination, their lines were whittled away until only a handful of soldiers and Jedi remained. They rallied to the Jedi Master Eleusis for a final stand. Imperial Grand Moff Zelos offered to spare Master Eleusis if he and his brave comrades would surrender. Neither pride nor foolhardiness drove the defenders' decision. They were guided by the Force. They had passed beyond the fear of death. Their glorious last stand will never be forgotten. Eleusis and his men fell, but not before the Imperials were driven to retreat. The Battle of Bathawui was a draw. The heroes of Bathawui inspired bold New Republic strategies that eventually halted the Empire's advances. In retrospect, though, the Republic had lost too many systems in the early years of the Great War. The execution of the Emperor's brilliant strategy was flawless. Survival was the best the Republic could hope for. I've spent much time now piecing together the puzzle of the Emperor's initial designs, and I have a theory that is quite surprising. I'll develop that for my next report.